What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked levels for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Monkey Dory and Snorlax team for Regulation E. You guys already know the deal. If you don't enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But the first Pokemon that we're going to be talking about is a Gen 1 favorite. It is going to be Snorlax with thick fat and a clear amulet as its item. It's rocking high horsepower, heavy slam, ice punch, and helping hand. Such a good Pokemon in the back end when you just need somebody bulky to deal a little bit of damage to get you guys to win. In our second slot, we got the one and only Fluttermane with Protosynthesis and the Booster Energy as its item. It's got Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, Moonblast, and Protect. And our third slot is the brand new Pokemon, Monkey Dory, who is actually very, very powerful in the meta right now. It's got a Poison and Psychic type with Frisk as its ability and a Focus Sash as its item. It's got two stab moves with Psychic and Sludge Bomb, also learns Fake Out, and it has Protect for its fourth and final move. In our fourth slot, we got the meta Pokemon. We got Choice Band Dragonite with Inner Focus as its ability, and it's rocking E-Speed, Outrage, Iron Head, and Fire Punch. In our 6th slot, or not 6th slot, 5th slot, we got Regilecki, and Regilecki is just such a great Pokemon all around. It hits hard, it's very fast, and it can also give you speed control with Electro Web. It's got Transistor as its ability, rocking out with the Choice Scarf as its item, then a crazy strong moveset of Thunderbolt, Thunder, E-Web, and Volt Switch. So, you can do a lot with Regilecki. You can do some big time damage, you can pivot out if need be, and again, like we already mentioned, you can get some speed control with them as well. In our final slot, we're rocking out with the Water Tauros. And Water Tauros, I think, is still a pretty viable option within the meta with Intimidate and the Citrus Berry. Then it's rocking Body Press, Raging Bull, Aqua Jet, and Protect. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that Regulation E ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Monkey Dory and Snorlax team. First match on its way, and we're going up against a Fire Ogre Pond team. That Pokemon is all across the meta. We're going to be seeing it a lot. They also have Galarian Moltres, rocking out with Iron Hands, Landers. If I had to guess, Choice Scarf Landers, that's been going around the meta a good bit. And then Fluttermane and Tornadus for a nice little support and speed control. How should we play this one? Who should we go into? We could lead Monkey Dory if you want. I feel like Monkey Dory is going to be a solid Pokemon, alongside with maybe like Regilecki, because if they're going to take Speed Control with Tailwind, we kind of have to go in with a fast Pokemon, and Choice Scarf, Regilecki, extremely fast. 220 speed with Choice Scarf, come on, this thing is cooking, this thing is cooking. So I'm going to go Monkey Dory, I'm also going to go in with Regilecki, and then in the back end, we are going to bring Fluttermane, and last but not least, do we go Dragonite or Snorlax? Dragonite's going to be good as a back end Pokemon because it does have E speed late in the game. It can really come up clutch. But against Snorlax, is a great Pokemon, especially with Thick Fat and going up against a fire type Pokemon like Ogre Pond. It will have the damage from which I don't mind. So, you know what? We're going to go Snorlax here. Love me some Snorlax. Everybody loves Snorlax. You can't go wrong with it. Like I said in the beginning of today's video, it's a, it's, it's a Gen 1 favorite. It's a Gen 1 favorite. But if you guys did not know, memberships are live on my channel. If you guys want to become a member and support me a little bit extra, it really does go a long way. There's a link down in the description below. So huge shout out to all my members. You get sub badges, you also get uh, emotes, and you also get comments with or, or priority to comment. So huge shout out to all my members. You guys are real ones. Thank you guys so much for the extra support. But uh, they go Lando, and they also go Ogre Pond as well. So Intimidate's going to come out here. I got two special attackers, which I love. I do love. I could see Ogre Pond potentially spiky shield in here. It is an option, right? It definitely is an option. So from here, I'm just going to Volt Switch out if I can, because I don't like that typing matchup. And I'm just going to fake out the land, though, because, again, I think Spiky Shield is definitely an option for his Ogre Pond. So by faking out the land, though, we can get the fake out. And then, I mean, if he Spiky Shields, we'll just Volt Switch and get out of here. We'll see what they want to do. We shall see. And if Ogre Pond doesn't, which that would kind of be scary, we can kind of just get after it that way. We have Focus Sash on Monkey Dory. And we can go into uh, Snorlax from here. Because again, this little thick fat on Snorlax, I like it a lot. So we'll see what they want to end up doing. Because I highly doubt he terrestrializes to Lando. And there's a spiky shield. So we read the spiky shield all day. Monkey Dory is going to be able to fake out the Lando. And Volt Switch is going to come in here and get blocked. Big time block. So we're just going to Volt Switch yet again. And I think from here, do we attack Ogre Pond? Do we double down to Ogre Pond? That's potentially the play, right? I'll definitely go for another Volt Switch. But I could Sludge Bomb into Ogre Pond if I want to. Or I could also Psychic across the board. But Psychic's not bad. We have a nice little Poison Terror type. The ground moves are scaring me. But I do have Focus Ash, which I really, really like. 
I'm definitely gonna Volt Switch, but the real question is, do I attack? Who do I attack here? Who does Jeans attack here? And I think I just attacked the Ogle. Fine, I already Spiky Shield. Let's try to get rid of it. So Volt Switch is gonna come out here. We're gonna deal some nice big time damage. Ogre Pond is not gonna thrash us, which is good. So if Monkey Dory can get off an attack, that'd be beautiful. So now with the Thick Fat, we are gonna bring out Snorlax. I believe potentially a Fire Shock could come into here, or it might just be a ground move. It don't really matter. Snorlax is pretty bulky all around. And Stop and Catch, we're gonna come out here and trigger our Focus Ash. So I highly doubt he doubles down to Monkey Dory, right? I think Ivy Cudge is going to come out here and go after Storlax, which I would love. We need Monkey Dory to get rid of this Ogre Pond, and it does. Correct reads from Jeans. Thick Fat's going to come out here and half that damage, and it still does a good chunk of damage. The Sludge Bomb now flies. It gets rid of uh, Ogre Pond, and from here, I'm thinking if I could get off an Ice Punch, that'd be beautiful. That would be beautiful if I can rip an Ice Punch into Lando as it's four times super effective. The Monkey Dory is picking up a big time KO. We got Snorlax on each side with 140 HP. And we got rid of Ogre Pond, which is massive. But to go into the next Pokemon, it is going to be Moltres. Moltres comes out here, and this is where I go for an Ice Punch. And I just protect. Or I could honestly hard swap back into Regilecki and save Monkey Dory. But I think protect is just going to be a smart call here. So if I had to guess, probably a Fiery Rats can come out here alongside with maybe a Stomping Tantrum. So if that's the play, I wonder if Snorlax can actually eat up. It's got the clear amulet. I would definitely rather it have like Citrus Berry or something. It'd be really, really nice. But I mean, if you're giving this thing a berry, you might as well give it the gluttony ability. And I mean, I'd rather have Thick Fat, especially with all the Ogre Ponds coming around. But Sapu is going to end up going into Monkey Dory. He, I think this thing is going to be Choice Scarfed. It might be. And this thing's just going to Nasty Plot up. So Nasty Plot comes out here. That's fine. This Ice Punch, I'm thinking should KO. It's four times super effective onto Lando here. And yeah, it just gets rid of it. So this thing gets a Nasty Plot plus one or plus two on the special attack boost. But I do have Regilecki in the back. So the only thing that can really throw us off is going to be a Terror type. But right now we both have Terrors. We both have the Terrors. And Fluttermane comes out for him. Lovely little Fluttermane. So both my Pokemon probably dead here. Let's be real. Let's be real, both my Pokemon are probably dead, and this is going to turn into a 2v2. So I'm going to try to at least get off a Heavy Slam, and then from here, I am just going to go for a Sludge Bomb into Moltres. But again, chances are we're dead here. So Dazzling Green's going to fly here, Monkey Dory's dying to that, and whatever Moltres has to offer. Maybe it misses, maybe it misses an attack and we get lucky, and we can get off this Heavy Slam, but chances are Snorlax and Goner. Yeah, Fire Bath coming out here. Can you soak? Yeah, no shot, no shot. I think it's plus two with the Nancy Flat Boost. And now we're going to be able to get after it. So they haven't sent out Terra yet. They haven't sent out Terra. And I'm thinking for here, we're just going to terrestrialize maybe Fluttermane. I might double down on Fluttermane at this point. Because I'm going to definitely E-weapon with Regilecki. I need some speed control. We need speed control here. Unless our Fluttermane is maxed out on speed with this booster energy. That would be the one thing. Yeah, speed's heightened. I don't even think we have to eat, right? I don't even think you have the choice in the e -web. That's that's the real thing. Should we choice in the E-Web? And you're 170 speed. And I kind of forget if you were booster energy. I kind of forget if this thing was booster energy. I really do forget. Hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't know. I don't know. Um. I know this thing's out speed. I know this thing is just flying in speed. I think E Web is going to be the play. So I'm going to E Web up. And on top of that, I'm just going to Terrasize. I'm going to rip a Dazzling Gleam across the board. So that's going to be my play. If I'm going to Terrasize. I think their Moltres has to Terrasize here, correct? It makes the most sense. And then we're going to look to look to clean up this match. Because this is real close. This one's coming down to it. We're play, we played actually pretty well. So did our opponent here. So no Terra comes out here. That's fine. Can we KO the Fluttermane with this? I really hope so. So e -Web's gonna fly. We're choosing the E-Web now. I'm really hoping that both these moves can just KO Fluttermane and we can just win this match. But I don't know if we can. We get the speed drop there. Dazzling Gleam's gonna get cooking. Can Dazzling Gleam do enough damage with the Terra type? Everything's boosted. We'll see. I don't know if it can. I don't know. Or can we'll hope. And it doesn't. Okay, so we're doing the same thing next turn. He's just gonna go for a Thunder Wave, and he's gonna slow down Fluttermane. And I mean, we have the speed boost, which is great. And that's kind of weird that you see Fluttermane chilling here with. 
with that. With Thunder Wave. But I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to go for an E-Web. This E-Web should not finish off Fluttermane. And then we're just going to go for a Dazzling Wave. Because once I E-Web Fluttermane again, we will be back on top of speed. And even with the Thunder Wave, the Paralyze, we should still be faster. Okay, so let's see what our opponent does. They still have Terra type. Right, or am I tweaking? Did they already Terrasalize? I don't believe they Terrasalize. No, they're just going to quit. That's awesome. We would love it. We would love it. Maybe they had a bad Terra type. Maybe they had a dark Terra type. Maybe they had a flying Terra type. But they're just going to quit the match. I'm pretty sure we had that one unlocked with the E-Web and the, uh, what is it called? And the Dazzling Gleam. Second match is on its way. We're starting things off hot here, going 1-0, and oh, but we're going up against a pretty strong meta team right here. They got Shen Pao, they got Tornadus, Ogre Pond, I should say Fire Ogre Pond, and then they're rocking out with Wilboom, Fluttermane, and Dragonite. How should I play this one? Who should I end up leading? And I think Regilecki is going to be a solid lead here. They might have a fake out user with Rillaboom, but Monkey Dory could actually outspeed the 168. We're gonna go Monkey Dory and we're gonna go Regilecki. Try to get some speed control going from there. Gotta bring the Fluttermane in the back end. And then last but not least, do I go back with the Storlax? Do we run it back with the Storlax? Or do we go in with Dragonite or Intimidate Tauros? Because they do have a few physical attacks, right? And Tauros isn't that bad here. It's got the fighting move that'll be super effective on Shen Pao. It's got the water move that'll be super effective on the Ogre Pond if it does end up thrasalizing. And plus it has a few first turn priority moves. So I like the bull. I like the Tauros here. The water Tauros. So we're just going to be bringing it in here. Looking to go back to back. But this one is definitely going to be tough. It's definitely going to be a tough one. The meta squads are just insanely strong at the moment. They really didn't change from last season. They kind of just added Ogre Pond so the teams just got better. So if you're really not rocking with it now, you're definitely probably losing to it unless you're playing really really well and that's what we're gonna hope to do here in match number two but they end up going Fluttermane and Tornadus we end up going Monkey Dory and Regilecki so he is choice spec on the Fluttermane and I think instead of going for a fake out we just sludge bomb and we start getting after that and I might just Thunderbolt or I could Volt Switch pivot I could definitely pivot out here I could definitely pivot, but in the who doesn't really make sense. I think at this point we just E-Web and we look to get after it. Z-Web's going to chunk up some nice damage and he's going to Tailwind. Imagine like he still might be faster than Fluttermane. It's speed so high with the choice specs, it's massive. But that's some Gleam's going to come out here, it does a ridiculous amount of damage. And E-Web's going to come out here and miss who? Who dodged that? Which one of you guys dodged that? Tornadus dodged it. I was going to do some big time damage on Tornadus. Sludge Bomb's going to get cooking here. Gonna do some nice damage, and from here, that kind of hurts because now Tornadus outspeeds me. I really need that. I really did need that. Pretty sure I'm just gonna protect Monkey Dory. That is so annoying, and we're just gonna try to pull off another E Web. That couldn't have hit. I need that E Web hitting. So I end up protecting the Monkey Dory. Let's see what they want to do from here. Probably just Bleak and Storm. We're gonna hope they get a dodge here. Can we dodge it, Reggie? Come on. They dodged an E-Web. It's time for us to dodge a Bleak Wind Storm. Of course we will. Of course we will. So that really hurts. That really hurts. That hurts us all. Because if we got that minus one, if we hit the Tornadus, my Regilecki would now outspeed this turn. And we can really start to get after it. We could really start to get after it. And I believe the first E-Web would have actually halved HP on the Tornadus. And at that point in the game, we probably... We probably... Could actually KO'd it with another one. So from here, I guess I'll go Fluttermane. Now we're just sitting in tough position due to one miss attack. I'm trying to think of how we can potentially win this match. We have booster energy, which I like a lot. But um, I'm thinking of swapping a monkey door here. But then I just die. My bull just dies out. And what's your terror type? You got a straight. Mm, you got the straight poison terror type. You really want that? Not really. We just go here and we end up just. Terrasalize and going for Dazzling Gleam. So I'm gonna Terrasalize Fluttermane. I'm looking just to do as much damage as I possibly can. But yeah, that one miss e -web could like one move could always screw you over in Pokemon, which is why it's so tough to play sometimes. But I'll go Fluttermane, hit that nice little Terra button. And he ends up going for a Bleak Storm. Now who's dodging that? Someone dodged. Who dodged it? I think that's Monkey Dory with dodge. We like that dodge. It's a big time dodge. That's when Gleam's gonna fly. We're out speeding with Booster Energy. That's gonna get rid of the Flutter Man. And that's gonna make Sludge Bomb actually fly over to the Tornadus. And that's big. That's big. Booster Energy came up massive. 
Buzz bombs gonna get cooking here. How much damage I'll be doing? Almost count. Can we get a poison? No, no poison. No poison, which kind of sucks because I would love to KO that thing this turn. So now they have one more turn left in Tailwind. And this will be a good turn to, to try to pick up a KO. And then go from there. But E Speed is looking terrifying. Let's be real here. Let's be real here. E Speed is looking terrifying. And losing my ghost type kind of sucks. I could actually intimidate him here. And I'm thinking I'm just hard swapping maybe Monkey Dory. Or do I go into the... Or do I hard swap Fluttermane? I think I might hard swap Fluttermane. Because chances are you're going to E-speed my... Uh, chances are you're going to E-speed the Fluttermane slot. Well, I could actually just protect. Instead of intimidating. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just gonna protect instead of intimidating. So he's getting Terrasize. He's definitely going normal terror type here. And if I had to guess, like I said, E speed is probably coming into the Fluttermane slot. Okay. Right, correct. So this protect could be massive. Because if Monkey Dory can get rid of that Tornado, that could be pretty big for us. So we're hoping we hit that protect button. Show me that E speed into the Fluttermane. It's gotta be into the Fluttermane. And it is. Okay, cool. That's a big time block. It's a big time block for us. We're trying, we're trying to. We're trying to get a little bit of makeup. We're trying to uh, make up a little bit of what we lost from that miss attack. So I get that protect. Monkey Dory should eat. Do eat. We love it. No speed drop, hopefully. Cool. No speed drop. And Psychic now comes in here. It's going to pick up the KO onto Tornadus. So we get the KO onto Tornadus. I think hard swapping Monkey Dory is going to be the right play here. Because one, we were, we're going to get off that Intimidate. And two, we get Monkey Dory in the back end for a nice big time uh, fake out later in the match. Now they're gonna go Shen Pao. So Intimidate, yeah, it's gonna work pretty well here. Sucker Punch is scaring me too. So yeah. From here, we're definitely swapping Monkey Dory. We're gonna go into the Intimidate, onto the Bull. We're gonna put both of them minus one. And I'm gonna try to land a Dazzle Gleam. I would love to land a Dazzle Gleam. I would love to land a Dazzle. So we swap, we get the Intimidate off. We love it. We love it a lot. We do have first turn priority with Aqua Jet. Inner Focus is gonna come out here from Dragonite. Lovely. And E Speed's gonna KO me. E Speed's definitely KO me. Yeah, next to Shen Pao, all day. So I get the minus one onto him. I have Fake Out with Monkey Dory. If I had to guess, he's probably Choice Band onto the Dragon. Um, and Focus Sash onto the Shen Pao. So right now we're going up against the strongest combo in the, in the game, right? This combo is absurd. Now I get to bring out you. And I think I, I might just Fake Out what's called yeah he is choice man he is choice man but i think i might just fake out the uh what's it called the dragon and just try to go for a body press we have rageable which would be water but i think shen pao has a nice chance of protecting him we're going for a sucker punch so yep there's the protect good call from me to go after this dragonite and double down into it we get some value out of here and think that's gonna get cooking we get the flinch, and of course, I forgot you have inner focus, so it didn't even matter. It didn't even matter. I just saw I had inner focus, too. I just forgot it. It's through fake outs. Or it blocks fake outs. The body press now flies here, and we got a game. We have a game. We have a game. That did some big time damage. Shen Pao's minus one, and I like her typing up against it. I know it has sucker punch, but yo, the bull might clutch it up for us. So from here, they already terrestrialized. Body press is a safe play to go into, so I'm gonna rip into it. And he's gonna go for an icicle crash, which I think we should soak pretty well. Oh my god, yeah. No flinches? Thank you. Yeah, yo, the bull's gonna win this game. The bull win in this game. We love you. We love you, bull. So made a bad play there at the end with the fake out, but I mean, what else are you gonna do? I could have just protected it, but it's all good. It's all good. The bull clutches up with Intimidate. It's got Aqua Jet here. It's night night. So good call for me to bring in the bull in the back end. We make up for our miss. Evil. Final match is here, and let's go 3-0. We're going up against a decently meta team yet again. Nothing's really changing. They got Ogre Pond, Wellspring Ogre Pond with Urshifu, Hisui and Arcanine, and then Fluttermane, Cresselia, and Iron Hand. So they could eventually pop trick room or they can just go into their more fast pokemon with like arcanine and fluttermane ogre pond and urshifu but i think there's a chance that they do lead the crest and the iron so at this, that point i kind of want to go into two special attackers and maybe with the same lead which i really like i've been loving this lead monkey dory alongside with 
um, what's his name, with the Vegelecki, just works out so well. And then in the back end, Fluttermane is going to be good. And Snorlax is actually going to be able to rock out here. Slow Pokemon, if they want to bring out Trick Room, Snorlax is going to be able to thrive in this Trick Room. So we're going to revert back to the squad that we use in match number one and look for a 3-0 perfect record. But um, yesterday, I know you guys liked my hockey stories. I had a hockey game, and uh, it was at my hometown, so it was just like a nice little men's league, and I think it's this eye. No, it's this eye. You guys can probably see like a little cut here. I thought I split my eye open. I got high sticked, and like, you ever get hit, and you just feel like you're bleeding? That's exactly how I felt. Like, I got hit, my eye just shut, and I was like, oh my god. I was like, dude, I'm bleeding. So I was like, just sitting there with my eye closed, and I looked at the ref and a few of my boys. I'm like, it's got your blood, isn't it? Like, nah, nah, nah. But it just fe feels like it's going to blow up and swell up a little bit and i'll get a little bit of a black eye but it's all good it's fine and then i rolled my ankle like a little bit later in the game my ankle swollen it was rough but hey we won the game and i had a good game i had uh i think i had three goals yeah three goals and i had two assists and we won six to four yeah i had a really good game i was thriving I actually should have had four goals i sniped one back bar but the one ref closest to the net said it didn't go in but the other team and the far ref said it did go in and i i, I said it went in when i shot it but it's not that big of a deal. It really isn't that big of a deal. Considering the, the league I play in, it's just a men's league with a bunch of people from my hometown. So we just like to go out there and have a good time. But uh, back to the action. They got Fluttermane. They got... Uh, what's that Pokemon called? They got Urshifu. And I think from here, it's just a simple fake out right into Urshifu. And then probably just you up just to slow down everybody. Or I can start ripping Thunders. Because Monkey Dory actually should be fast. So I'm just going to go Thunderbolt into a uh, Fluttermane here. They're just going to end up detecting. That's totally fine. That is totally fine. And Fake Out is just going to get blocked. The Fake Out's going to get the block. That is Dark Urshifu. And Thunderbolt's going to get cooking here. The Thunderbolt doing some nice damage. Halfing it. And Icy Wind's going to come out here. And who's dodging it? Who dodged it? Which one of you guys dodged it? Monkey Dory dodging. Actually, I really like Monkey Dory dodging. Because I think you could be faster. I think you could be faster than Fluttermane here, which would be beautiful. You still might be faster than Fluttermane with your choice scarf. No nope, sucker punch flies, and we're able to eat. Are you faster? No, you're not. Can you eat that? You cannot. Okay, that, that sucks, man. I was really hoping. I was really hoping you were going to be able to eat that. You're not faster, and you couldn't eat that. It really sucks. Sludge Bomb now gets cooking over into that slot, and that's some big time damage. That is some big time damage, but from here, we're sitting in a pretty solid spot. Because now I get to go into Fluttermane, right? I can hit that Terra button to neutralize some of the damage coming in from a Sucker Punch if they want to do that. And plus, I'm Booster Energy for a nice little speed boost. And I can just double down into Fluttermane at this point. Actually, now would be the time to actually hard swap you into Just get Fake Out for later. And I believe a Terra Dazzling Lane should be able to pick up the Double KO. So that's why I'm going to swap the Monkey Dory into Swalax just so I can get Fake Out later in the match. Because I, I believe this uh, Terra with the Dazzle Gleam should be able to pick up a double kill, no problem. So yeah, that's the play. That is the play. But my more competitive hockey league, I, I came on Tuesday night. We're bursting the defending champs. We lost them in the championship last year. I was so upset because I didn't make the championship game. I was in the Poconos snowboarding. And we probably would have won. I was upset. I was upset. So, I had a game Tuesday. Now, I'll let you guys know how that one goes. But but my hometown league is always such a good time. It just, just gives us something to do on a Thursday slash Friday night. We go out there, drink a couple drinks, have a good time, play 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 a little bit of hockey, and just crack some jokes. But yeah, I got high stick and I was so upset. I was like, dude, it's bleeding. It's so bad. And then they looked at me. They're just like, nah, it's not bad at all. You got a little cut. So, I was like, all right, cool. Cool. Let's continue playing. <laughs> But uh, I end up terrestrializing the Fluttermane. He ends up protecting this Fluttermane. And I really believe a Sucker Punch is coming in here. Yep, and that's why I terrestrialize. So we're able to soak. So we're able to soak up. Dazzling Gleam's gonna fly. The Fluttermane is gonna protect it. And I'm playing really well today, I feel like. I feel like I'm playing super well. I feel like I'm just making my calls, making some good swaps, making some good plays. And now I got the Swalax out here. The Swalax texture looks pretty tough. He look, kinda looks like a stuffed animal. And I actually have a, a plushie. Kind of feels like a Squishmallow, but it's not a Squishmallow. It has like that nice fuzz, and like, like it's an, it's a good plushie. It's a real good plushie of Snorlax, and it's probably like it's probably like maybe like a foot and a half tall, and it's pretty cool. But I'd rather have like a ten foot Snorlax plush. Wouldn't that be sick? That would be sick. But from here, they bring out Iron Hands, so they can fake me out here. I think I'm just gonna go into a high horsepower and just protect my Fluttermane. 
They don't want to get faked out and have my Flutter main die with the amount of speed it has right now. So I'm just going to go into a high horsepower with Snorlax. And if I had to guess, I'm probably faking out the Flutter main and going into like... I don't even know, probably like a Moon Blast and double down into it. This Flutter main's a real threat right now. And I should have read the Terra because they're definitely going to Terrasalize the, uh, the Iron Hands here. Yeah, I should have read that and just went into an Ice Punch. It's definitely a grass terror type all day, right? All day long. No water, okay. That's even worse for me. I don't really have anything to kind of rip up into that. That's going to be a little bit of an issue. Protect's going to come out from the Flutz. And no, they're reading that. They're reading that all day. Good reads for it, man. No, he's Heavy Slam. Okay, cool. So from here, their Flutter main's definitely protecting, which kind of scares me. It definitely kind of scares me, because we know the Flutter main's protecting. I kind of want to swap into Monkey Dory here. But instead, I am just going to go for a Helping Hand Moon Blast, which probably be better than doubling down. Yeah, I'm going to go Helping Hand Moon Blast into the Iron Hands. I believe Flutter main's going to protect this turn. Helping Hand comes out here. Flutter main ends up not protecting. Unless Protect comes out after that. And it does end up protecting. Okay, cool. But well, ends up protecting, I don't think we're going to be able to KO, and then Heavy Slam's going to KO us, which kind of sucks. If we make that read, how much damage are we doing? Almost enough. Almost enough. We get the crit, we get everything, and Heavy Slam comes out there to pick up the KO onto me. So if I had to guess, Iron Hands probably doesn't have... Iron Hands probably doesn't have Protect. Monkey Dory could come out here and just fake it out, maybe pick up a KO onto it. And then the Lax could start trying to get after it. So he's got Assault Vest from here. I really just want to Heavy Slam you. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for the Heavy Slam, and I'm just going to fake out the Iron Hands. He ends up withdrawing Iron Hands. Okay, so he's going to go into his final Pokemon. He wants his fake out for later. And can the boys clutch up? I wonder. Who's your final Pokemon? It's going to be Ogre Pond. That's not looking too hot for us, right? That is not looking too hot. Shadow Ball is going to fly here. In the everyday, right? Yeah, it's gonna be game. That is gonna be game. This is gonna be game. We are gonna be able to KO the Flutter Man. Should have maybe just protected there, but the fake out looked nice and juicy, right? The fake out for the KO would look pretty good. Because I was hoping the Iron Hands would have stayed in, and then it would have been a 1v1 between us two, which I probably still would have lost. But from here, it's it's pretty much wrapped, right? They got speed, all that. I'm just going to run this one. He's going to fake me out here. And it's going to be game. So, 2-1 for today's video. Can't complain about that. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2-1 winning record. Add it to the channel. Add it to the channel. Bunch of winning records on the channel as of recently. Snorlax was awesome. Same thing with Monkey Dory. And we also got some love and in with Tauros in that second match, which was awesome to actually use them. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some passive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.